Well hello and uh, welcome back to another Blue Yonder video. Uh, I'm Alan and today's video is about this, uh, an update on the ownership experience of my V7 Carbon Motor Gutsy. So if you're interested in this bike, this is the video for you. Let's get into the video. Well I got the V7 uh, towards the end of April uh, 2023 and uh, the ownership experience has been uh, really interesting. In fact on balance I'd say it's been very good not without its issues and uh, I'll go into those shortly um, but overall I have to say I've really enjoyed riding this bike in fact if anything I've probably enjoyed riding this bike more than any of the other bikes uh, in the stable and that includes things like the 97 Fireblade, the VFR 750 and the uh, R1200R it's a bit of a balance a uh, bit 50-50 with the V100 uh, which uh, only came uh, into my possession at the end of August but uh, I have to say overall I think she's a smashing bike and I really do love riding her and the sorts of rides that I've done um, have been things like uh, I did a, a sort of a couple of rides around the the Peak District and on those sort of roads she's absolutely perfect because they're quite busy uh, to start with the main roads through the peaks uh, and the minor roads aren't really you know they're not uh, designed for tearing around so a bike like this is ideal uh, on those sorts of roads. I also took her on a long ride up to uh, Whitby, which I think was well over 200 miles by the time I'd finished uh, from my base in Nottinghamshire. And she performed faultlessly, and, and in fact that included riding through a downpour. And I must admit, I had my fingers crossed as to whether the Italian electrics would be up to the job, but she didn't let me down, uh, and she was absolutely hunky-dory. Also had a fantastic ride over to East Kirkby to the Air Museum uh, to the Lincolnshire Bikers Meet uh, towards the end of the summer and again she was perfect for that so she'll do anything really and I have to say I've considered maybe taking this bike touring uh, because she's got a big tank, she's got a 21 litre tank here um, and that gives you a range well in excess of 200 miles um, because According to the trip computer, not sure I believe it, but according to the trip computer, I'm doing well over 70 miles to the gallon. So she would make a, a pretty reasonable tourer. The seat, it looks fantastic, it looks beautiful, uh, but the seat isn't the most comfortable after a while, but it's more than adequate. But she's not been without issues and problems, and one of those problems is that slight delay uh, which started a few months ago uh, when you turn the key to start her up there's a pause and you think she's not going to start then she kicks in I'll just demonstrate now I took the bike for service to the motorcycle and scooter centre in um, Nottinghamshire in, in uh, Stapleford in Nottingham who are a Piaggio uh, dealer, so they do Aprilia and Motor Gutsy. Um, and it was basically having its annual service. And while it was there, I said, can you have a look at this uh, starter switch? Now, I think they probably took the mechanism apart and uh, probably sprayed it with some uh, contact uh, spray. But, uh, and it worked better for a little while, but I have to say she's back to normal. Um, but I have, equally, I have to say, she's never let me down. Sometimes you need to put the kill switch and that sometimes gets it to start a little bit easier. Uh, and she will start eventually, but it is a problem that's persisted. And I believe it's an issue that's fairly common on uh, V7s. So if anybody else has got a V7, uh, let me know in the comments if you've had similar problems and how you've dealt with it. Uh, now, the other issue that I've come across is uh, the suspension, I don't think it's particularly good. And uh, again, I've, I've checked on the forums and quite a few other um, owners of V7s have done upgrades on the suspension and it, I've decided it's something that I need to do. So I'll just have a quick look at the uh, rear shocks and the uh, forks. Now these rear shocks, they do look pretty, uh, but the adjustment is pretty rudimentary. Um, you adjust the preload by these two knurled lock nut rings there and you can see the thread. But you need two C-spanners and guess what? There's only one in the toolkit. And that suspension is pretty good, providing you're not pushing on. If you, if you start pushing on fairly enthusiastically, not too enthusiastically, because she's only 52 horsepower and she won't take you that quick anyway, but if you push on fairly enthusiastically, she does pogo around a little bit uh, and there's not a lot of damping uh, if you hit a bump mid-corner. Uh, and ditto with the front forks. 
you know they're uh, they're all right at lower speed but if you start uh, riding it as the chassis will you know the rest of the chassis would allow you to ride it um, they're not really up to the job now I fitted uh, a Hagen replacement rear shock on the fire blade and also uh, on my VFR and I have to say they've been pretty good they perform pretty well and they're excellent value for money so that's what I've decided uh, to replace these shocks with on the V7 and on the forks there's no adjustment on the forks so what I'm going to do on the forks is uh, change the fork oil or have the fork oil changed and I've also bought some progressive uh, front springs for the uh, forks as well so hopefully that will improve the ride quality and the handling now another issue that I've found is uh, the matte satin paint it does look fantastic but what I've found is uh, particularly around the tank it does mark up quite easily um, and uh, I've had a couple of uh, applications of uh, muck off detailing spray and uh, that has got rid of some of the marks but it does as i say it doesn't take much to actually mark it and uh, i think that's a fairly common problem with these satin matte finishes uh, other problems are uh, the exhaust uh, header bolts are corroding and again that's a fairly common problem so uh, they'll probably have to be replaced by some stainless steel items again sometime in the new year the only other issue is with the aftermarket heated grips. Um, they stopped working, of course, right on cue on the coldest morning of the year that I actually took it out. That but other than that, she's been an absolutely fab little bike. I have to say, I've been really pleased with her. Um, and uh, she feels really light and wieldy. Uh, the seat height is really low. She weighs, I don't know, people say 207, 208 kilos dry. So I don't know, 220, 225, something like that maybe a bit more wet but it doesn't feel anything like that heavy it feels really lightweight and she's really really easy to handle um, and you've got brilliant lock to lock on the bars as well absolutely superb so for low speed work fantastic the only glitch is that the the clutch really bites really early so would i uh, recommend a, a gutsy v7 to to other people yeah absolutely unreservedly I think the bike is superb. I've, I've really enjoyed, as you can tell, riding this bike. She's not fast. She doesn't handle particularly brilliantly. Um, she doesn't do anything brilliantly, but she's greater than the sum of her parts. She's very basic. She's analog. She's only got the bare minimum of, uh, of, of electrics on her. She's got ABS and that's about it. But to be honest, I don't want any more. She fits the bill for my, my sort of riding that I'm doing now absolutely 100 percent she's as i've said before she's wieldy um, she's uh, got loads of character uh, she's economical and you can tour on her what more would you want i think it's a brilliant bike so if you're thinking about one of these and this is the 750 it's not the latest 850 but if you're thinking of one of these you know have a look on the classifieds they're not stupid money they hold the value reasonably well but they're not stupid money so uh, go out and have a look at one the overall reliability and the quality is uh, is pretty good overall uh, certainly got no major complaints uh, from me so uh, yeah for me she's a definite strong 9 out of 10 and uh, I recommend her to the house so thank you very much for uh, watching the video hope you've enjoyed it if you have uh, please give it a like and please subscribe both really help with the exposure uh, of the channel to the to a wider audience in YouTube See ya.